Hey there, Angular folks, it's Brian back with another Angular CDK tutorial. Have you ever moved a component across your layout and your state just vanishes? Well, in this quick demo, we'll try to avoid this with three different approaches. ng template outlet, CDK template portal, and the DOM portal to see exactly when Angular recreates your view and how to move a live component without losing state. Stick around to the end and you'll leave with a one-line rule you'll never forget. Templates recreate things while the DOM portal moves them. All right, let's check it out. Here's the app that we're working with in this tutorial. We've got a small admin dashboard with a promo banner here. Currently, this banner is displayed in the sidebar. But when we click this button, the banner jumps to the main content region. There is a heart button and a timer in this banner. When we switch locations again, we see that the state resets because with the current logic, we are reinitializing it every time it moves. What we'll do in this tutorial is render it in different ways, first using ng template outlet, then using the CDK portal module with a template portal first, and then a DOM portal, and we'll observe when state resets and when it persists. Okay, let's look at some code to get an understanding of the current logic. Let's start with the template for the root component. Okay, here in the header, we have the button that is used to toggle the region that the promo banner displays in. Then we have a condition based on this doc write signal that will show the banner in the main content region. And if we scroll down, here we have the banner when it's displayed in the sidebar. So when we toggle this signal, we remove the component from one location and add it in another, which is why it reinitializes when it moves. Now let's look at the TypeScript for this component. Right now, this thing is pretty simple. We have the doc write signal here. Then below this, we have the function that we use to toggle the signal when the button is clicked. Okay, now let's see if we can change this in a way that will persist state as the banner moves between the two regions. First, we're going to try to use a template and the ng template outlet directive. In order to do this, we first need to add it to the imports array. Okay, now we need to switch back over to the template. Here, we need to define a template that we can reuse. On this template, let's add a reference variable so that we can access it. Now, within this template, let's add the promo banner component. So, what this will do is allow us to essentially stamp out this component in multiple different locations as needed. And how do we do that? Well, we'll use the ng template outlet directive. Let's replace the component here in this first condition with an ng template. Then we can add the ng template outlet directive here. Then all that's left is to pass it the reference. That's it. Now this component will be rendered here when this condition is true. All we need to do now is update the sidebar implementation too. Okay, now let's save and see how this works. Let's click the button to switch regions. Nice, that still works, right? How about when we click the heart and then switch? Well, that looks the same as before, so the state is still not persisted. Why? Well, this is because ng template outlet creates a new embedded view each time it attaches. New view, new component instance, new state. So we need to try something different. How about a CDK portal? Let's try it. First, quick note. You'll need the Angular CDK installed. You'll need to run this command in your project root to install it in your own application. But we already have it installed in our demo project, so we're good to go. Okay, now when using the CDK portal module, we have a few different portal types we can use. There's a template portal, a component portal, and a DOM portal. Let's try a template portal first because its setup is closest to what we already have. Let's open back up the component TypeScript. First, let's add the portal module to the component imports array.
Now, we need to add a few new properties to this component. First, let's add a promo content property to hold the value for the portal. It'll be typed as a template portal from the CDK portal module. Next, we need a property to access the template we made. Let's call it promo, and we'll use a view child signal query to access this template using the reference variable name. We'll also need to inject the view container ref for the origin of the view. Now we need to set the portal whenever the view child is resolved, so let's add a constructor. Then we can add an effect. Then we'll check for the existence of our promo template. Now we can set the promo content using a template portal. We need to pass it the template and the view container ref. All right, that should be everything we need to do here. So now we can switch back over to the template. Here, we just need to switch from ng template outlet to the CDK portal outlet directive instead. Okay, that's it. Let's save and check this out now. Let's click the button to move the banner again. Cool, that works just like the template scenario, right? Now, what about when we click the heart? Well, it still resets. And that's actually expected. A template portal still creates a new embedded view on each attach. We've just changed how we pass that template around, not what the attach does. Now, we could try a component portal here, but I'll go ahead and spoil it for you. We'd end up with the same result. So let's try something different. Let's try a DOM portal. With a DOM portal, we can actually move the same live instance. It literally reparents existing DOM into another outlet. Same instance, same signals, same timers. Let's switch back to the TypeScript one more time. The first thing we need to do is switch the portal type from a template portal to a DOM portal instead. And instead of being unknown, It'll now be an HTML element. Also, for the view child, we'll switch from a template ref to an element ref instead. And we'll no longer need the view container ref, so we can remove it. Finally, in the effect, we can replace the template portal with the DOM portal instead. And we only need to pass it the promo element this time. All right, that should be all the changes needed here, so let's switch back to the template. Okay, here we need to use real elements, so let's change the definition here from a template to a div. Then, in each of the conditions, we just do the same. We switch the templates to divs instead. All right, that's it. Let's save and check it out now. Let's click to move the banner. Nice, it still moves like it did before, but now we can see that the timer isn't being reset anymore. And if we click the heart, then move the banner, no reset. The same component instance moves. The timer keeps ticking. The like stays liked. So the bottom line, templates recreate and the DOM portal moves. A DOM portal also preserves the origin injector. So feature scope providers and DI contexts stay the same when you move the component. So rendering the banner directly with ng template outlet or with a template portal all recreate the view so the heart and timer reset. A DOM portal actually moves the same instance, so state persists when you move it. That's the whole trick. The portal module is just one of many hidden gems in the Angular CDK. If you want to see more lesser known Angular features that can level up your applications, like this video, subscribe and let me know in the comments what feature you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one.